a high-level meeting designed to show the world relations between Africa's oldest nations are getting better. We firmly believe a close working relationship at all levels and in all areas is beneficial both for our bilateral cooperation as well as in regional and international areas. The Ethiopian and Egyptian people will continue to uh, extract the benefit and feel the importance of this relationship in their uh, mutual aspirations for development and for a greater uh, cohesion. The two countries have been in dispute over Ethiopia's Grand Renaissance Dam. Egypt fears the dam will cut its supply of water from the Nile. The two countries and Sudan have referred the matter to independent consultations. Ethiopian analysts say there are benefits to all three countries from the power the dam can supply. Grand Renaissance Dam is designed in such a way to meet uh, not only national supply demand uh, uh, long-term objective, but uh, to contribute to renewable energy supply to the regional, uh, really critical energy, especially renewable energy demand. So within this package, uh, the beneficiaries will be the northern uh, continent part and also the eastern continent part and the southern continent part. The two countries have signed five agreements covering areas such as education, health and trade. And more high-level meetings are likely in coming months. Ethiopia's Prime Minister Haile Mariam Desaling is expected to host Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. Grumjala, CCTV, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.